everybody, so I'm uh, set off to do a little adventure tomorrow morning. So I came over here to my Escapade Pro Light trailer. I have it stored at this trail yard. And I was going to bring it with me, but I think that um, I might just do some camping in the truck. I'm driving to Victoria from Calgary. It's about 15 hours. I do have to stop in Prince George because my daughter has someone to visit there. So it's going to end up extending it to 17 hours each way. Uh, the trailer would be great to have to sleep in, but I don't know if I want to load it up. And right now it needs a spring clean and everything. So I think I'm just going to grab a few things out of it that I need. And then, yeah, um, head out on the road tomorrow morning. So uh, I'll probably do some camping at least two nights. And I thought that I'd take you guys along with oh me. God, this is a terrible example of what this trailer looks like. I will do a video on a walk through <laughs> when it's all cleaned up. But yeah, I just like threw everything in here for the winter. But yeah, I'm going to grab a few things. Yes, I ended up with like just a ton of wood left over from last year. So we're going to bring some back because maybe I can find a campground and have a little campfire. so wet out here. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, made the mistake of letting her run around in this mud. She's covered from head to toe. And now we have to go in the truck. Yeah. Great. So unfortunately, the trailer over here I was supposed to be living in full time but um it was just like my mistake when I went like looking I really really liked it so I even got the pickup truck to pull it and everything and then realized you can't really live in that full time when you work and have a job in the city because uh, there's nowhere to park I parked it one time and like unhitched it from the truck and I didn't realize that I wasn't allowed to do that. So I got a ticket for that and then uh, one year I, I had the truck, well then the next winter I had the truck hooked up to it. Then I found out that you can only park for 36 hours in one spot. So then I got tickets for that. So it just ended up being really, really hard because I can't park it anywhere at my work. Like, I don't know anywhere in my work where, anywhere even near my work that I could park it and live in it. So, like, unfortunately, I'm, like, basically homeless and I have a trailer and I can't even live in it. It's just in this huge um, parking yeah, lot. City parking, basically, I think it's like 50 bucks a month, but I just park it here, but I'm not, I can't stay out here in it. So yeah, um, I don't know, like, it's just, I ended up like, I have an office in my, in my work. I own a little small business, but I can't afford rent and my business and all that. So I just kind of like live in my business and in the summer, I'll try to live in the trailer as much as I can, but it's just not working out. Like I just wanted to be able to live full time and not, and be able to save money. Um, things are just too expensive right now. I just literally can't afford it. I don't even know how long I'll be able to afford my, my, my work run at this rate. So I do have an opportunity. Maybe a friend of mine has a B class uh, van and he suggested because he actually doesn't want to live in it anymore and he'd rather have the truck and trailer and I'd rather have the van because I can park it and there's more options with that right and uh, yeah so we might actually just do a swap out I'm hoping mm -hmm. by the end of summer maybe in the fall but yeah I, uh, you guys will hear about that when that happens because I'm sure I'll do uh, a video of that I will do a video tour of this trailer though it is really super sweet it's nice um for such a small trailer it's it's uh, i'll clean it up and do a video on that and let you guys see what it looks like but yeah for now i'm just got this stuff that i need uh just for overnight i just wanted some pillows and blankets and some uh i got firewood and uh my cooler in case i want to you know have something to eat 
And yeah, I'm going to get on the road in the morning, so I'll catch you up then. Uh, what a, it's seven, 7 o'clock in the morning and I'm waiting for my daughter. Of course, she wasn't ready. I told her to be ready for 6.30 and yeah, sitting outside waiting for her. And then yeah, heading to Prince George. Uh, this is just going to be spontaneous camping. I don't know where I'm going to stop or what I'm going to do. So uh, it'll be pretty fun. And I'm going to pick up my blue canoe in Vancouver tomorrow. And I haven't seen it yet, so I'm super, super excited about it. Well, uh, bad news. I've been driving for, well, I went to all the way to drop my daughter off in Prince George. And then I was trying to find camping. It is early April, and I think nothing is open yet for campsites. So I'm going to just be sleeping in the car tonight. I hope I don't get in trouble. I just parked in between like a Tim Hortons and a, and a, uh, I think it's like Burger King or something like that. But yeah, the back windows are slightly tinted. I made a bed back here, so <laughs> I'm so tired. I've been driving forever and my eyes are just like, I can't even see anymore. So I was like, I have to pull over and yeah, so I'll show you my this is like the front of the truck i just put all the camping stuff in the front seat i had it in the back and then um yeah so there's nothing in really in the front i just put the i have this area um in between my in between my um back seat like i have a truck so there's my dog sleeping and my other dog is here so they're on the back seat and then there's the space in between the seat and the floor so I just put all my pillows there and a blanket I'm gonna lay down there so I'm kind of behind the seats so hopefully it's like a little stealthy and nobody nobody yeah, sees there's quite a few cars here that I haven't I've been here for like a half an hour because I grabbed something to eat and just had to set everything up and I don't see anybody coming to uh, the car one car beside me has been here the whole time so maybe they're doing the same thing <laughs> I hope, I hope so. I put a little curtain on the back one side of the window. Um, but yeah, unless somebody comes and presses their fa face right against the window. And worst case, they tell me to go and I have to get up and go. <laughs> if you and I get a couple hours of sleep in, we'll be better than nothing. Because yeah, 10 hours of driving um, all in total today. Okay. So it's pretty exciting to try out Stellar's very first canoe. Yeah, that's right. They are just a kayak company, but now they also make canoes. And this is the first canoe that they've made, the Dragonfly. So it's, uh, I'm super excited to um, have one and to share it with you guys. And to hear, it is super light. Um, it's gonna be interesting, my first uh, canoe trip though, because I've never portaged before. I've never carried a canoe over my head. But I did go for the light one because I did just have uh, carpal surgery on my hand. So it's really super weak and I wanted to um, get something light just to be easier for me as I'm getting older as well. And I do have the other hand uh, to do. I'm supposed to do it now, but I'm going to wait until probably the fall. So if I do take this canoe out, I will be able to uh, handle carrying <laughs> handle carrying it. Uh, for the portages and and the, and so on. So yeah, without further ado, let's take a look.
right, so I can't find my um, lap, my measuring tape. So I'm gonna use my long leveler to do some measurements here. Cause I'm actually, I can't find the specs. I might have to Google and get a little more information here for us. See what that is. All right, so we're at it's 14 feet. I thought it was 16 for some reason, and you know what? Like honestly, it looks so big in person. I thought, um, yeah, it was 14 feet that I yeah 14 feet that I bought. But then I was looking at it, I think, man, this is longer. Like I wonder if they gave me a different one, but no, it's uh, it's 14 feet. <laughs> All right, so just to close up, like, oh, so beautiful. So this is the new Stellar Dragonfly. Now, Stellar is a well-known kayak company. And they make their boats out of Kevlar. Well, all different products, but this is a Kevlar canoe. And she is only 27 pounds. So we got, yeah. 14, what was it, 14 feet, 27 pounds. So that's gonna be nice and light for portaging. So yeah, just look at that. And it has a foot rest here, so these are adjustable. I haven't figured out how to do that yet, but yeah, so there's the foot rest and then the foot pad. Um, you could definitely fit two people in here if you wanted to. It comes with the seat. Oh, doesn't that look comfy? Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try this out. Yeah, it has a weight capacity of 275 pounds, so I can definitely fit my dogs in. But yeah, if you guys, I'll let you know once I try it out, but wow, what a gorgeous boat. So thanks for watching this video. I know it wasn't what I intended it to be. Um, yeah, I got to Vancouver and that rain was just pouring. It just kept raining. Raining and raining and raining. So, yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm gonna be going on lots of adventures in this beautiful, beautiful boat right here. And yeah, I wanna take you guys along with me. So hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye for now.